Alright, um, thought I'd make a video on how I go about um, hardening the plants off, or start hardening off anyway. Um, whether you can see or not, um, these plants have uh, developed a decent amount of roots on them. Um, I've actually removed a couple of plants out of here that didn't have roots on them and placed them in uh, fresh media before I did this, so that's why there's only a couple in there. But I um, thought I'd just show you how to do it. Um, give you a basic idea of what goes on. Alright, so it's pretty simple. No longer really require any sterile conditions. Um, the media in here was perlite and sphagnum moss as I did for the cuttings. Um, this is not a bad mix. I sterilise it as well. Um, there's various um, fungicides and stuff on the market that you can use. Um, so all I'll do is um, simply remove my plant from the media. Um, probably see there's still a bit of um, gel on the bottom of it. So give it a, a good wash in the water. Um, can do this under a running tap. Uh, work probably better, but for the purpose of the exercise today, I'll just um, simply give it a good soak in some water. Removed all the uh, gel from the plant. It looks pretty good. All right, it's just a simply a matter of um, placing it in the media now. The perlite. Secure it in there. Alright, there we go. Um not bother going on with any more at the moment. Um, also, what I do is give them a um, bit of a spray with this stuff. It's Envy. Um, like with the cutting video that I did before, um, you just simply give it a spray of this and once it dries out it forms a film over the plant. Um, helps reduce shock and water loss after being transplanted out into that, so we'll just give him a quick little spray. Um, and once that dries out, uh, that should help protect the paint until it's um, a little bit more established now. From here, um, because it's been exposed to a drier environment where there's pretty much 100% humidity in here, um, we need to be fairly careful. This is where I tend to lose a lot of plants. Um, just basically by not um, paying due attention to them and exposing them to um, too drier environment. So from here um, I'll place it in a, um, a humid environment so I'll just uh, show you that next. Alright so we've gone, we've sprayed our paint with the Envy to help protect it. Um, now we just need to slowly harden it off. Um, I use these, they're cheap, um, pick them up pretty much from any hardware store um, and it's just simply a humidity tent container um, for seedlings and it comes with a couple of vents in the top uh, so for the first week just put your plants in them um, put, don't expose them to direct sunlight yet, uh, that'll cook them so for the first week in here in a shaded environment or under grow lights if you have the space um, and then maybe after a week slowly open up the vents give it, give it the lid, take the lid off and give it a good um, exchange of air every now and then as well but make sure you put the lid back on soon afterwards um, and yeah after a week open up the vents somewhat to let a little bit more in it does depend on your environment up here it's fairly humid anyway so I can um, get away with opening uh, this, uh, these up a fair bit more but in a dry environment, I'd keep them shut maybe for another week, just slowly exposing it to them. And eventually, um, you can remove the lid, and the plant hopefully won't dry out and die on you. Um, and then you can transplant it from this into um, the potting meter and place it in your um, normal growing area. Um, I, the media I use, like I said before, um, perlite and a bit of sphagnum moss, I sterilise it um, just to help stop fungal growth. You will get some fungal growth because of the lack of air movement in there, so it's good to keep a good eye on them as well. Um, I use this product um, to sterilise the media first before I even put the plant in. 
and like I said it helps reduce the fungal infections or breakouts in there um, and also if I notice some sort of fungus developing on them I'll um, give them a quick spray with some systemic fungus spray as well just to help stop that but I don't really treat them with anything other than sterilizing the soil well, media first with this stuff um, unless I see something happening um, you really got to pay close attention at this stage this is probably like I mentioned before the most critical part where I tend to lose most of my plants if I'm going to lose them um, just by exposing them to too much air or letting them get a little bit too much um, sun direct sun and um, it dries them out very quickly within a matter of minutes if you're not careful anyway that's uh, how I go about hardening my plants off.